Maddie Lake, member of the Conroe High Democrat Club. Nico Montalvo, president of the Conroe High Democrat Club. Hunter Gamble, president of the Young Republicans Club of Magnolia High Schools. Blake Clifton, vice president of the Young Republicans Club of Magnolia High Schools. I'm Mandy Sunderland, and I'm running for Montgomery County Treasurer. I'd like to ask you for your vote and your support in November. So your job is obviously directly related to money. Are there any instances that could spark bribery? And if so, what will you take to come back to that? You know, that's a really good question. And um, one of the reasons why I've decided to run for Montgomery County Treasurer is um, it's been 28 years since there's even been a Democrat that's even run as, you know, a Democrat for Montgomery County Treasurer. And we see what happens when one party holds all the power for a prolonged period of time. We've seen instances of um, nepotism and a lack of transparency. And when you have the balance, when the balance is restored, and you have somebody with an independent voice they can be an independent watchdog over county funds, I think it's a win-win situation. So um, having the ability to speak up, to have that independent voice, where you're not part of the politics that have always been in play, I think that gives you an advantage. You can actually use that voice and stand up and say what's going on. Thank you. Um. And going off of that, why are you uh, why are you seeking personally seeking the office of treasurer in Montgomery County? Also a good question. Um, after the general election two years ago, I became very very angry. I wasn't happy with the direction politics were going on the federal, state, and local level, and I wanted to make a contribution. The other thing I noticed was that, you know, we as a family moved to Montgomery County in 2008. And when I would go to vote at the polls, there was like never a Democrat on the ballot. And, you know, I said to my husband, you know, you're the only one, you know, surely in this entire county. And, you know, and then we thought, well, maybe Democrats aren't allowed to run. But I found all that stuff wasn't true. And that Democrat, there are Democrats in Montgomery County. And we are allowed to run, which is what I'm doing. I want to give people an opportunity to be represented. All right. So if you had to place the level organization where we are currently, what would that be? And if elected, what could it become? Can you repeat that? Sure. Question? Sorry. Okay. So how well organized do you think we are currently as Montgomery County with the treasurer, with the current treasurer? And if elected, where do you see it going? Okay. Um, I think that we have, you know, there's three main areas that I want to concentrate on when I become treasurer. The first one is integrity and ethics. Um, I believe that the treasurer should be an advocate for the voter and the voter only, not for their friends and colleagues. And we've seen actual instances of nepotism in the treasurer's department. Um, I'm, you know, you guys are active, I know, in your high schools, and you read the paper. And I know it's been radio silence on politics since the midterm election, but from January until March, on the front page of like the Montgomery County Courier, in the Villager, and in the Impact newspaper, you'd see, you know, just almost scandal going on in the treasurer's office. Um, there's a clear lack of transparency. One of the duties of the treasurer is to post monthly financial reports on the um, county website. It wasn't being done. It wasn't even being done on a quarterly basis. So there were a lot of problems with transparency. Um, monthly balances were also supposed to re be reported to the commissioner's court. That also wasn't being done. There was an open records request. It was actually, I think, the original open records request directed to the treasurer's office was from um, my opponent who wanted to get a copy of the manual to see you know, what was going on. What is the status of the treasurer's office? When the manual came back, it was, because I have a copy of it too, gobbledygook. In addition to that, it had people's personal telephone numbers, addresses, and social security numbers on it for past and um, present employees. Big no-no, I mean, you don't release people's personal data. So they had a lot of problems with transparency. I'm gonna be working on that. And then the third area is efficiency. 
we need to bring that department up to date. Um, there's going to be a new thing that's introduced. Um, it was actually introduced by the Commissioner's Court in August, and they're going to be starting something called the Enterprise Resource Planning System. I don't know if y'all heard about that. You have. Okay, so it's, you know, a big umbrella system where what, you know, where the goal of it is to be able to have all of the different departments within the county to be able to talk to each other. So they're all on the same page. You need a leader. You need somebody who's had experience having a vision of what you want and migrating existing, existing data over to that system so that people can you know, talk to each other and really have a well-functioning department. I'm gonna bring that to the table too. So those are the three things. Integrity and ethics, transparency, and efficiency. Thank you. And um, based on your past, uh, what unique skills would you bring to this office if you would be elected? Okay, well, my background, unlike my opponent who is a bookkeeper, my, my background is really being a leader. Um, I have a bachelor's degree from UCLA in geography ecosystems and a master's degree from USC in industrial hygiene from the engineering department. I had a NIOSH fellowship to study there. I have over 25 years of experience working in the oil and gas business as a safety, health, and environmental specialist. I have experience managing major projects. I have experience working in groups. I have experience affecting change in large organizations. I've worked with multi-million dollar budgets. When I have deliverables, they're always provided on time and within budget. These are the things that I can bring to the table. I'd like to run this as I would run a business, as I have done in the past. Now, earlier you did mention the nepotism, and do you feel that this position should be nonpartisan? And if so, what steps would you to make? What steps would you take to enforce that it remains nonpartisan? Well, the job is really just a job. This isn't, you know, a red job or a, a blue job. It, it's it's just a job. But it is a partisan position, and I think the benefit of having a variety of people <laughs> with different viewpoints working in the county government is an advantage. It brings back that balance. So um, I, I guess it, it, it's all about the balance. Thank you. How do you plan to modernize the treasurer's office? Well, one of the things that I'd like to do is, I'd, I'm a big fan of something called benchmark studies. And that's where I would go around to other counties with similar demographics to Montgomery County and check out what their treasurer's offices are doing. I'd look for gaps, I'd look for different efficiencies, and I'd implement them and move them forward. And then again, the most exciting bit is the fact that we're gonna be moving toward that enter enterprise resource planning system, which is just the best bit of organizational um, news that we've had in the county in forever. Um, the county was doing a lot of things manually, the um, electronic systems were out of date, and this is a way to you know, bring us up and make it visible, um, make it more cost effective and efficient. Of course, I have further questions. I have none either. All right. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. That was so nice. Um, can I just ask you guys a question? Of course, sure. What motivated you guys to do this? Because I am, I can't tell you how delighted I am that you're doing this because one of the other reasons why I'm running is because I have a daughter and I have a son that's in university right now, in University of Oregon in Eugene. Um, I'd like to leave them with a legacy that if you think that you know you can do things better or you want to make a change, then take action and go for it. And, and that's what I want to do. But you know, so often I talk to young people, mom, you know, I'm just too busy. You no, know, there's my vote doesn't matter. It, and it really, really bothers me. And it fills my heart with joy, my personal heart with joy to see you guys doing this because I think it's so very, very important. You're inspirational. My, uh, my reason was I, I couldn't support somebody that was not qualified for an office when there was someone more qualified but just in a different party. Right. Okay. Same with me. I wanted to 
throw my, we wanted to throw our support behind the person who's best qualified. We wanted to, especially since these are more lower levels and they don't touch upon as many hot topics as the national levels would, we wanted to really look beyond the party beliefs and go to the person itself. Because at the end of the day, it's about who the people are wanting to support and what the people need. No worries. I believe that's true. And, you know, my personal view on everything that's going on, you know, our nation is divided. And I would love to see, you know, it, it become unified. I mean, I'm, I'm so tired of, you know, what I see on TV. And I think that, you know, it almost if we can get rid of the R's and get rid of the D's and the independents and just really look at candidates and maybe not as party, I think we'd all be better off. I'm not supposed to say that, but... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Blake Clifton, Vice President of the Young Republicans of Magnolia High Schools. Hunter Gamble, President of the Young Republicans of Magnolia High Schools. Nico Montalvo, President of the Conroe High Democrat Club. Maddie Lake, Member of the Conroe High Democrat Club. Uh, Melanie Bush is our Republican nominee for County Treasurer. And Mandy Sunderland is the Democrat nominee for County Treasurer. Yeah. Well, background perspective. Uh, Mandy has uh, 25 years, I believe, what did it say here? In like industrial yes. hygiene yeah. and geo yes. engineering area. She got yeah. a de bachelor's degree in geography ecosystems from UCLA and the master's in industrial hygiene. And uh, Ms. Bush, she uh, she started her business and... Uh, got her bookkeeping, she had an accounting firm, she got three degrees. Oh, yes. yes. From yes. SMU, economics, political science, political science. Public policy. Public policy. Public policy. Very, very relevant to this position. Yes, yes. yes. I, I believe that uh, Ms. Bush is the definitely the proper choice. Seeing, She's definitely much more experienced. Yeah, she has the accounting. Accounting. Yeah, when it comes yeah. to this particular topic at hand. Yes. As opposed to uh, Ms. Sunderland even stated in her interview that she took action because of the recent yeah. presidential. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Which does not make her. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't. Position is. It's not a great yeah, she, she, yeah. she was uh, emotionally motivated. Mm -hmm. Rather than like rather than having like joy. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> She's been doing it for what over eighteen years it said. I believe so. I am definitely gonna endorse Miss Bush for yes. this one. I believe everybody should should vote for uh, Miss Bush for treasurer since she definitely has the degrees and the experience to back up. And we support Melanie Bush yes. for that position and believe that she Because in another point, uh, Ms. Sunderland brought up that this position is a partisan position. Yeah. Yes. We do not yeah. agree yeah. with yes. we this do position. Is it not definitely, partisan. whenever there's money involved, it should, should not be, be about parties or personal It should, should be, be about the person. The person. Yeah. Melanie Bush is. Insanely qualified. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Good decision.